Watch, you see Case Keen, the Budweiser car, he, he's gonna make a run, and Amendinger's gonna take him all the way to the grass on a block. Yeah, and I, and I think Amendinger, I think AJ felt like, okay, I'm this far down, he's not gonna be there now. I mean, right in front of mm. Mark Martin and Biffle. Who's that, is that, uh, is that Truex in there too? Yeah, Truex is in there. Yeah. Here's a 39 that we saw come off of turn three, just in the gas. Oh, Ooh. Ambrose hit the inside guardrail a ton. Oh, Danny Hamlin, not gonna get this one back. Hard into the wall behind him. Matt Kenseth, Menard, Vickers, and more. Look at this pile up. Tony Stewart in the middle of that. We see Denny Hamlin get sideways. Let's see if that's, well, look, a couple of things going on right there. The 55, yeah. Ryan Vick, cut off in. Uh, Matt Kenseth. I'm not sure if they're related or not. Yeah, it looked like Vickers was trying to avoid maybe the 11 as he got really sideways. I don't know how Denny Hamlin saved that car once again. You can see he was out of control when he came across in front of Matt he, right there. Yeah. Hard hit by Vickers. Wow. It was all started by the, the, the 11 car getting sideways. And that was probably caused by, and, and it's not a not that something that Clint Boyer was trying to do. He just got up, saw a, a run of making on the outside. He had done that a couple of times on restarts. And as he went by the 11, it just basically sucked the rear of that car around. Ride with Brad Kozlowski. Still inside. Involved. On the outside, it looks like Lake Speed might have lost an engine, or at least he lost the car, and Greg hit him, and they both head through that wall. Greg Sack hit it hard with the right front, and then the car gets upset and starts rolling over as they come down off of the wall. Barrel rolling. Look how high it goes into there, comes back down. Oh, over and over. God, for Winston Cup cars and how strong they are. Look you at that see, thing. You can see the fire, Benny, under the, uh, under the hood of the car, and then it rests back on the top. And as we saw, then Greg Sachs was able to crawl out of there. The fire was he broke the carburetor when all those tumbles and the fuel in the carburetor came out. And he... Oh, oh trouble. trouble! Steve Park is off into the infield. Another car ball over on his lid. It's Park and Dale Jr. Terrible crash. Man, Steve Park's car just turned dead left. And he came off turn two. Yeah, he's definitely moving in there. That's a great sign. The car hit that inside guardrail, which is a guardrail instead of a wall. And yep. Rusty Wallace got a piece of it. And we saw Rusty make it three wide going in turn one, but as he entered turn one, uh, it looks like it slowed down and everything was under control. Boy, you see that guardrail? They have flattened that guardrail inside that straightaway. And it's really easy, especially on the first lap coming out of one. You know, you got cars two and three abreast. And if you slide up the racetrack, we talked about earlier, There's Benny. Steve coming yeah, out of there. There he is. There we go. Good sign. That's what we wanted to see. Anyways, it, what happens is you slide up the racetrack, and you can hit somebody in their left rear as you slide up the racetrack with your right front. And that's almost what it looked like, that one car just turned dead sideways. Well, what a great shot that is teammates walking away from a crash like that arm in arm we see the jimmy johnson car and there's rusty wallace you see park trying to squeeze up the outside i see he was trying to go on the outside of rusty rusty moves up they make contact and junior gets un under the one car and just kind of bulldozed him into the wall and over yeah that's what actually turned him even more sideways but I'll tell you what, that guardrail did the job. Oh, it did. It's great it took job. a lot of, it, that absorbed a lot of impact right there. Watch the yellow car. Back there, just turn left. And when you hit wet grass, it feels like you pick up 200 mile an hour. 
but you can see how that barrier gave way when Absolutely. that Absolutely. That, that barrier absorbed a lot of energy, and I'll tell you what, that, that nice to see happen because if that were a concrete wall, he would have taken a much harder hit. One more shot. Rusty's right in the middle of the racetrack. Steve Park's going on the outside, but Rusty decides to come up to the outside line, not realizing that Steve was there. Made they, made, they made contact, and the ride is on. <clears throat> Look at that barrier give. Thank goodness. But again, that's one reason that Steve was able to walk away arm in arm with Dale Earnhardt Jr. because of that wall that did give. Absolutely. I agree with that 100%. Inside, down low on Hildebrand. Kind of just a racy and deal. One guy was coming down, the other guy was coming up just a little bit. They barely touched, and yeah. both of them in the wall. Hitchcliffe square on the back attenuator. Hitchcliffe had a little bit of space to the yellow line, but probably didn't want to get too close to the apron. Meanwhile, Hildebrand doesn't really want to run too high because, as we've seen already, if you get up in that gray, you won't finish the corner. So let's walk on watch on board with Hinch here. Oh, hard hit. That yeah, was just really one of those racing deals. It was a pretty late attempt by Hinchcliffe to kind of put it in there that late. He was only at his back wheel. And, you know, yeah. Hildebrand was going for the line. You don't want to get too high and get in the gray. And Hinchcliffe was kind of just stuffing it in there really late. I agree with you, Paul. Plum Alexander Rossi pretty well smoked on the front straightaway. Now Ryan Hunter Ray is to the oh! other side. Huge crash. To Hunter Ray. Sato. Oh, no. And Rossi is in it. A lot of cars. Up Rossi in the in fence it. is Rosenquist. This is disastrous. For Rossi in the championship, his teammate was involved like he was last year Sato. in turn two. Sato's involved. A upside car upside down. down. Sato's car of the event again. And so watch guys Hunter Ray in the yellow out. car. Hunter Ray's going to make a move on Rossi, go to the inside. Sato goes to the outside. They're now three wide. They just squeezed oh, him. Sato, Sato just came, came over. On Rossi. Yeah, he just came down on top of Rossi and then swept everybody out. Oh, look at that. Oh, Look at that, man. up in the fence. So very hard hit for Rosenquist, very, very lucky. I'm so glad that Rosenquist stayed out of the fence in terms of the whole car getting up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So here we get a good head-on shot. I'm not sure what Sato thought he was clear maybe and tried to get a draft off Dixon. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing in that situation. He just kind of turned down across those guys and there was a car in the middle Rossi was in the sandwich. Oh, take me through it, guys. You what? see, they got together right there with Jason Jarrett. Car sliding. Typically, what we see here a lot of times, a uh, car gets a little bit sideways, you correct to the right, and then a vicious hit. Whenever those cars come off the ground like that, that is a lot of force. Look at the radiator sliding right in front of the car that came right out of the car in the, in the initial impact. You see the debris just flying all over the place. We have several angles of this incident. Now, now here comes Shelby Howard, the 77 car, Christy Passmore. Everybody's got to run. Look at the debris. It's everywhere. Here's a second angle of the crash. Boom. Vicious wow. hit. Very hard hit. And then it comes right across the traffic. Look at it. Almost got hit again. Junior. Oh, trouble already. Going into turn number one, the 59 slides over the wall, jumps over the wall, and is going to hit on the other side. How about the 59 of Buster Graham leaping that wall? Remember how much rain we had here yesterday? That's what postponed it. happened to Tom Birdie there. He turns into Kyle Martell in the 43 car. And you see the smoke. These guys had no idea. Watch Buster Graham, the left of your screen here. That is amazing that he leaped. That three-tier guardrail. Here's another view. Look at how high that car was up in the air. You see the access road. Look at the seven of Brandon Kidd. He, he got up in the air. That access road really caused those cars to get up in the air. Job guys down oh, the stretch. Oh, look trouble. out. Trouble. Kurt's into the wall. Boyer's in it as well. And Kurt's getting the worst of it. It's like a little bump drafting going on right there. We're trying to gain the advantage. Like the 48 got to the back of him a little bit. Boy, he almost came back out onto the track. Man, look at this car. Oh, man, further it's back, Elliot Sadler. Sadler. And look engine. at this. Gosh. The engine is out of this thing. Oh, my God. Uh, check the lower right of your screen. Oh, my right. gosh. Oh, oh my oh gosh. My. Hey, look at that. Head on into that arm coach. On the right side of your screen, it will come into play here. 
and it is a wicked hit. Now, this is ugly right here. You see, it comes just at the worst place you can hit at this track. 